All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence. We don't need to talk about We went. Left hook from Yaounde came and landed on him, you know, so. <laughs> that, that's it. You know, <laughs> but with Leon, I think he's respectful. Coming up to the fact, leading up to it, he was a lot respectful to, to, to Edwards and so was um, Kamaru. Um, sorry, Edwards was respectful to Usman and I think Kamaru was to, to Edwards as well. But I'm sorry, he's just won the title. He can do what he wants. You don't have time to think about oh, what I'm doing. He's just like, yeah, yeah, I'm that guy. Yeah. Everyone's coming. Yeah. Everyone's looking at Connor. Some guy did a weigh-in with a Connor tattoo. Literally, he got that tattoo of the gorilla on his chest. A weigh-in, he did. Everyone does it like. So I can't think we can. But yeah. Now, fair play to him. Fair play to him. It's his day. It's his time. For six months, you'll have the bell, and you can do whatever he wants with it. Fair play. Yeah. And you know what? And actually, I, I'm 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 probably exaggerating because look, let's let's be honest. We're back end of August now. September, October, November, December. Then yeah, it's not going to be this year. It will be beginning of next year. I don't think the UFC will rush Leon because then he's going to fight again. What in four months? And then let's take away an eight week training camp. So yeah, actually, when I think about it, it makes sense to be after the you know. I don't think the UFC will snake. Osman basically and and because I'm just I just remembered hold on a minute we're the back end we're literally in September that's October November yeah it won't be this year and hopefully you you know the UFC will just be patient and wait and just <laughs> yeah because yeah. if they snake Osman with only four months left in the year I'd be very I actually would be shocked I'd be surprised yeah. yeah, and there's money to be made out of this rematch. There's money. There's if you let it stew, there's money. So we, I think in the group, obviously Joe Rogan was getting hyped. I think he was he was he was smoking something. He was talking about O2 yeah. Arena. We all think we all think Vegas for the rematch. First of all, he said he said O2, and then he said it'd be the biggest trilogy in the sports history. I'm like, whoa! Slow down a bit. Slow down a bit. Slow down a bit. I think Joe Rogan, the recency bias was definitely uh, <laughs> in the air with his comments at the time. Yeah, mm. I mean. In terms of trilogy, yeah, one one, but it's not going to be like a big media spectacle. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not. But maybe they're going to try and make it. They're going to try and make it. And I'm thinking of actually of other trilogies. I'm thinking of other trilogies. Okay, the Moreno Figueredo is one. The, first again, of recent. all, the John Jones Cormier one is the number one. That's not a trilogy. That's they've only fought times. twice. They're not three, fight three times. They've only fought twice, and John Jones has beaten him both times. I thought they fought three Stipe, times. Stepe, Stepe, Stepe in DC. Okay, Stepe in DC was big. That's a trilogy. Um, okay, for some reason I thought they, I thought Jones fought someone three times. Okay, um, yeah, may, may, well for me it, just, it struck me as a wild comment at the time, like to say it was, it'd be the mm. biggest trilogy in the sports history. But I don't know. I don't think it's gonna be that big of a spectacle. I think it'll need some another fight on the card to like propel it, you know, to 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 that top 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 card. But yeah, I, I 100% agree, because let's be honest, like, if we think in terms of characters and names, as we said, Leon isn't, I get, I get everything he's worked for, but let's be honest, because he's been so unlucky, he probably doesn't have the profile that he should have. He's probably, and, and again, I'm not putting anyone down, but let's be honest, mm -hmm. he's probably the lowest profile champion right now in Fact. terms of his popularity, especially Fact. in the US. Yeah. yeah. And in the UK, Fact. I'll be honest, Paddy's a bigger name than him. And Paddy's and not even Paddy's ranked. Like 50 kilos right now. He's taking yeah. fix. So yeah, Paddy's, <laughs> a, Paddy's a bigger name, yet Leon's a UFC champion. Let's be Meatball honest. Molly's a bigger name than Leon Edwards. It's true now. It's speaking, true, but yeah. things change. Things, yeah. things are going to change now, definitely. And then, uh, actually, oh, when I was thinking about it, I don't think Joe Rogan was far. I don't think that's a mad comment. When we talk about trilogies, when we talk about trilogies, in terms of what happened, how, he, how he's KO'd, head kick. Kamaru Usman, who people are talking about, is one of the greatest of all times. Like how he did it, they, I don't think there's another trilogy that has been more probably as highly anticipated as this one will. I don't, I don't, even That's, even though he's not a big name, I just don't think yeah, there is because no, of Usman. We, 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 we'll see how his name is amplified off the back of this. And, and back to APL's mm. point, you can't just keep rinsing the same story. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I don't think, unless they, you know, spend a lot of money and a lot of spin. Um, you know, I don't think Kamaru's good. Yeah, obviously, internet can can be not can be undefeated at times. I don't I don't think Kamaru's going to be a meme. Um, <laughs> come on, you know, well, come on. So. The internet is horrible. You'll find some. You'll find some around. The internet's yeah, mad. The internet's oh yeah, yeah. Horrible. No, no. But I mean, it's not. Is it? Yeah. I mean, I just yeah. I, again, it's because it's it's not a big name. 
in that in 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 that in that market where I don't think like you're saying it's going to be the trilogy of all trilogies and it's going to be everyone's going to want to watch it. I don't, I don't I don't I don't think I don't think that. I think because I, I think, I I think it takes the, I think it takes the popularity of both fighters for, yeah. for for to carry that kind of hype. And I don't yeah. think I don't think Leon's gonna his mic game's gonna be that way inclined to hype it up to that level. Um, unless unless he genuinely changes and you know thinks that that's what will work to get him okay. paid. Who now knows? he's getting pay-per-view points. Now he's getting pay-per-view points. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> it, it, so, so I'm going to switch it up. So what, what like, how? What is he going to do? He's just going to talk more. I think he might start, talk. He, he might start talking smack and be like, I kicked you. <laughs> he might start <laughs> talking smack. <laughs> He might start talking smack. Of, of no. course, they, of course, he's gonna. Of course, he's gonna because they, they, the media are gonna be like that. It's the narrative that they're gonna spin, and of course, they're gonna feed into the narrative. He's talked more than he's ever talked before leading up yeah. to this fight. I've never even seen him talk like that. And obviously, his mic skills are rubbish. But a lot of the times, Usman. A lot of the times, people think Usman is cringe. Like the whole like. No, 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 no. no. Let me tell. Let me tell. You see what Usman got it right. He bought into this Nigerian nightmare character. In fact, going back yeah. to the fight when he did. What did he walk out to? Because he didn't walk out to Afrobeats. And I already was like, mm, I'm not it was sure. Something, about it was something slow and moody. Yeah, yeah. It was, was it a UK? Bad. Was it a UK? Was it a UK song? Or... It, was, it was a bit spooky. I was like, why? It was, why yeah, you... it was like Spooky Hours 3. I don't know what it was. <laughs> but yeah, it wasn't It wasn't like, it wasn't Burner Boy. It wasn't like, it wasn't vibes. It wasn't like, he wasn't swinging his hips. He was just walking down all moody. And his brother Mo was going, come on, come on. He was like, yeah, hyping yeah. him up. But it's a bit cold, it wasn't... isn't it? It felt a bit cold. It didn't feel Warm. Yeah. So, but anyways, yeah. what I was saying was, is Kamaru. We all know before he didn't used to sell it. He, like he didn't used to be a, a sellable fighter right. until he brought into that Nigerian nightmare, that personality, the way he dressed. He dressed like an African, modern African guy, and you know he yeah. brought, he fully hedged into the Africa, you know, uh, um, um, persona. So like yeah. like like the heavyweight champion, like Izzy yeah. had. Mm-hmm. So Leon, maybe I don't know. Maybe he needs to lean into his Jamaican roots and like go all the yardy on us. I don't know. He needs to do something. I don't know. He needs or to do sleep something. lion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to do something. Yeah. But hey, but, yeah. There's, there's no doubt in that that kick shocked the world. So at the at the end of the day, Leon Rocky Edwards is the new UFC welterweight champion of the world, Definitely. and we are looking. For- well, congratulations, and we are looking forward to that to that rematch. Birmingham, stand up. Hope you're proud of your boy. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow, But, yo, I did have to go backwards, and I did have to watch that Colmaine. And, yeah. I, I mean, Mardi, you, you know, in the preview, you were like, I don't believe what cold. I don't believe him. I don't <laughs> believe him. Can I interject just once quickly, Mardi? Sorry, before you go. Yeah. When I heard him talking, because you know, I watched the, 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 the video back, for those of you who haven't watched the preview, guys, watch it. But um, mm. I uh, watched the preview, and when you know, were talking about him fight, talking about fighter pay, I was like, he's out. Like, <laughs> whenever you start talking about fighter pay, you are mentally checked out of the organization. I just knew it. Anyways, Mardi, go on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That's, isn't hindsight a beast? <laughs> I so wish I texted it at the time, but anyways, oh, God's my witness. Yeah, that, go on, that, 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 that fight was violent. It was an absolute street fight. And mm. we were talking about Rocky's body language. Oh my gosh, I've never seen such negative body language from a fighter mid fight in my life. Yeah, Luke Rockhold did not want to be there. Luke Rockhold forgot what it what was like to be hit. He hasn't fought since 2019, July. I also, mm. this thing was putting him under the bus and saying he actually didn't spar going into this. It showed. He got hit. He didn't like it. He was grimacing. He was putting his both hands on his <laughs> knees, not at the end of the round. Mid round. I'm gonna try to twerk. APL. I'm gonna do it now. <laughs> mid mid rounds. He was getting breaks. When Paolo was coming for him, he'd hit him and he'd do that. He was doing that. Like not, he was he in his face. He was saying, "Please stop hitting me. This hurts. I don't want to be here. I don't like this. I hate Get it here. Out. Yeah. <laughs> I, hate it here. <laughs> I hate it here. Oh my gosh! Like, wow. 
But then he still had the left kicks. The left kicks were fantastic into the liver. Honestly, and I said that in the preview. I said, I forgot how good of a kicker he was. Yeah. He was still dangerous with the kicks. His left hook haymakers, when they landed, they stopped Paolo in his tracks every single time. But yeah. Paolo bust his nose in the first round. He was oh, breathing yeah. through his mouth, blood everywhere, blood out of his mouth. Rockhold was a mess from round one. And it just carried on going. There was a it was a nut shot. When I mean nut shot, Paolo <laughs> Costa full power <laughs> in round two. Punched Luke Rockhold in the balls. Yo, Hadouken. <laughs> that was it. Was. It <laughs> had everything. APO, when you go back and watch this, there and then, as much as I'm burying Luke, he had his moments. There was a 360 degree roundhouse kick in round two that landed sweet. Yeah. Sweet yeah. on Costa. It was nuts. But then in between that, <laughs> 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 It's like I've seen my wife pregnant twice. Luke Rockhold was doing a very good impersonation of a woman <laughs> in a compromising position <laughs> whilst giving birth. Yay, yay, yay. Multiple <laughs> times. Worst negative body language I've ever seen. It was crazy. Had like hands on the knees, was turning away from the licks. Um, and then in the round in and then in round three. Again, he's on the bottom. Paolo's grounding and pounding, grounding and pounding. Suddenly, I think in the last 30 seconds, he gets to he gets to like flip it around. Do you know what he does, APL? I'm not even joking. Gets the blood and just starts yeah. smearing it all over Boracina's face like he's mankind from WWF. <laughs> <laughs> Licking the blood. Yeah. Hey. And you know what? I give him plaudits for that because hey, I was saying that, yeah, he I don't believe he hasn't got it. Fair play, because that takes guts for him to still be there and to Don't still be that. so dangerous. And hey, I said his chin is gone. Both of them, fair play. Both their Paolo chin held it. up. Paolo said, it. Paolo said, said it. his chin is gone. He has still got a chin, people. Yeah. He took Paolo's best shots. Mm. He didn't like it. He was grimacing. He was in pain. He was looking around at the world saying, please, somebody <laughs> get me out of here. But he did not give up. He yeah. did not give up. And I in my head, I was Still like, I never, I never want to see you fight again. Please hang up your gloves right now. He did the right thing because he did exactly that. When Joe mm. Rogan went to interview him, his first statement was, I'm too effing old. <laughs> it's true. It's he true. Was, he kept it real. So I have to give him credit for that. And I have to give Mardi all the credit because I got snagged by the mic. The mic, his mic skills up to that fight had me swaying on his side. Oh, Paolo looked the best yeah. he's ever looked in terms of physicality. Looks good. Went on the ground, was owning Luke, and everyone saying, "Oh, if he goes to the ground, it's Luke Rockhold's world." He he was down there. He took him down. He took yeah. Luke Rockhold down multiple times. It genuinely, it genuinely was a very good fight. But yeah, happy Rockhold will never see him again because man, that the, we talked about body language. At least, at least Leon still gave himself a shot. Rockhold as he was, he was literally in there fighting for his life. Yeah. That's it. It's true. I'll kill him, man. I gave you three years of my career. <laughs> Crying out loud, you know. That, no, that's fair play. I'll watch it. I'll watch it. I'll watch it. <laughs> yeah. And then, oh, yeah. I don't want to spit. What, have you got anything to add on that one, Mardi? Nah. No, nothing else. <laughs> nothing else. <laughs> yeah. But, um, <laughs> Shout out to everyone who, you know, all, all the women and getting pregnant. And if you know, if you want to need, if you want to see how you really should brace and, and get down low, just w- watch Luke Rockhold <laughs> in this fight. It's it's different. It's different. But um, yeah, don't really want to spend time in the Murab Aldo because I thought that was poor. Um, but mm. it was it was not it was an, it was not a none event to me. It was Murab staying busy, trying to get takedowns. Couldn't take him down. I think he made took him down once out of like 14 shots. And then Aldo just there looking at the car going, he can't take me down. Yeah. And that was it. It was poor. It was That's so true. bad. Yeah, big time. It was, what, it was disappointing. But one other thing, one other shout I want to give to him as well. I don't know if you see it. I've, I've not seen the full fight, but I've seen some highlights of it. The first one was Tyson Pedro. Against I saw um, it, I saw it. Yeah. Hun- Hunsucker. So Taz yeah. Pedro, he's now recently joined City Kickboxing. Yeah. So he's in Izzy's camp. Oh, okay. um, Eugene Behrman was there. He's come off from like m- like major knee injuries. Major. Like, major. Yeah. Like, and he got the dub. He said, I saw in the preview show the same one maybe with Izzy where he his layoff was the longest ever in UFC history. 
Ooh. longer than Cruz. Yeah, yes. longer than Cruz. His, his, that's how bad he was injured because he was one of those injuries where he came back and he broke down again straight away. Um, and they had to rectify their first surgery because they got it wrong. Oh, yikes. That's bad. That is bad. So for and him yeah. to come back from that. And to it celebrate. Was just, it, was, it was a nice finish as well. Celebrated at a shoey with, um, what's the name? Ah, oh, Laura Sanko. The Sanko. Oh, thanks. <laughs> hey, she, she nailed it. She n- nailed that shoey. Nice. But yeah. Yeah, but um, yeah, we'll go. I'll go back and watch the rest of the card. I did see that, and that was that was a good moment. Um, but yeah, I'm um, obviously all the hype and all everyone on the so internet overall, what we talking about. What are we ranking the card. What's that? What are we ranking the card? Like what we're saying the card is. From what I've seen already, I, I would say maybe like an eight. I'm 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 game. I, I was gonna say eight for me from what I've seen. Take away that Aldo Marab, but. You know, I saw that. I saw the Tyson Pe- Pedro. I saw the co main was like for me fantastic, and obviously the main yeah. for the shock value. You know, that's that's got to give it uh, bonus points for the yeah, historical nice. value. For historical value, I'd even push it to 8.5 because it's the second British, you know, uh, UFC champion. Yeah, it, Man, are you calling him British or Jamaican? I mean, listen, he needs, to, hey, he needs to tell us what he wants to be. Yeah. 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 They're going with, with first Jamaican born, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> but, but yeah. then. Um, uh, Aljo only carries a Jamaica flag, but he's just recognized, but he's not Jamaican born. So, yeah, I agree with you. You need to, he needs to tell us which he allegiance to, he he's rocking 100%. You can't be rocking with but two flags, you're one or the other. <laughs> no, no, it's true. No, like, you can rock, no, you can rock two flags. I'm, no, you no, can rock two like, flags. Ma- ma- Max is 100% Hawaii. Yeah. And I, I get it. I get Hawaii is technically a, well, it is, it's a state, state of the United States, but he <laughs> yeah. only carries the Hawaii flag. Mm. Kamaru has been in um, the US for what, 30 years. He's 37. He only carries the Nigeria flag. Is he? Yeah. Actually, to be honest, what does he even carry a flag? Is he? No, is it but, carry a flag, but he, you know, or you know what he claims. Yeah. yeah. No, but only because only because New Zealand have been moving mad and not paying any MMA guys attention and stuff like that. Otherwise, his dream was to headline in, in a show in New Zealand as well. Yeah, but the, the guy, the guy talks uh, like he, he talks like an African, basically. Yeah. Like I watched yeah. an interview of his. I went, when he was talking about oh, on Sky, they were asking him what should AJ do. He's like, oh, it should show Ogun. I'm like, what? What the hell? They're not, why are people not gonna know what that means? Like, <laughs> is he, is he, I, I'm, I'm aligned with that. Is he? Is he knows? Is he knows? Is he knows where he's from? Yeah. What about AJ? What about AJ? Talk me to me about AJ. We, you've already lit, AJ's a marketing product. You've already hit the nail in the head. AJ, <laughs> whatever he wants to be, he's told what he wants. He's told what he should be. So he, AJ doesn't count. And we all know what the the British press is like. When AJ loses, he's Femi, and when he wins, he's AJ. So yeah, for me, AJ is very AJ is conflicted. Mm-hmm. <laughs> AJ showed his true him what? yesterday. AJ is the old man. AJ. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. But I think Leon, I think Leon is even, he's even said it. I think he, I think he's split in all honesty because he's even said it. He, sh- he did that to show people you don't need to come stateside to get to be a champion. Bisbing, Bisbing alluded, he went, he left UK. Yeah. He had roots in the US and he did his camps. Leon, the first fight against Usman, he tried to do it. He went to AKA. Um, he said he didn't benefit from it. He mm. stayed roots. So for me, you can carry both of them for me. Yeah. As long as nobody's think, dropping I, him if once he loses. I feel I feel that a person the vibe I get from him is not British. I, I think I, I WhatsApp to you. I think the vibe I get from him is Birmingham specifically and mm. Jamaica. Similar to where P- Paddy and Molly don't really claim Britain. If you and yeah. if that's a scouse thing, they're scouse. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So I think I, that vibe I get from from Leon is he's very proud that he's from Brum. So he's Brum and he's Jamaica. That's the vibe I get. But so mm. maybe, maybe I, I don't hear him claiming UK going, I'm going to be the first British this or I'm going to do this for Britain or all the rest of it. I hear I'm going to do this for Birmingham, I'm going to do this for, like you said, the people from my, from where I come from, from my circumstances. So he's like almost doing it for the people, but he's not calling out UK. But yeah. He literally, he literally called out UK, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Did he call out UK today? <laughs> he, said, he said he's showing people from the UK, you don't need to go stateside to win a championship. You can do it from okay. the UK. Okay. But, if he wants but, to mark hey. himself as, as a UK fighter, he ain't, it's not, he's not, he ain't, that ain't it. That's not the one. But I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. But let's let's end this conversation because people are moving stush. Hey, just no, how no. you were mad. Just how you were mad coming out of that. 
No, no, no. I, I swear, I, it's, it's for Leon's benefit. I swear my life is for Leon's benefit. If he wants to market himself as like a UK fighter and this and that, it's not going to go well for him. Because the UK reason. always bring people do down, that. bro. Like, they always bring people down. Like, as soon as he's champion, you'll see, like, they'll probably get a photo of him on a night out in Birmingham doing some crazy stuff like an uncle's friend's brother's son's nephew has stabbed someone in Birmingham. They'll say Leon Edwards stabbed someone. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just yeah, saying. I'm just saying. No, nah, it's true. It's true. But hey, if that's his decision, and he's, and he's, that's and his he's already got that. He's already got that in his history. In his history, where his his his, his dad was gunman when when in, Jama- in Jamaica came here and then got gunned down here, and obviously was still mm. part of that gang affiliation line. Lost not to say if he starts claiming Britain, they start claiming. Oh, these are the bodies that the dad buried. You know, they oh. start go- they start doing the digging. You know what the daily the Daily Mail is like. Listen, they'll <laughs> take him to the basement and kill him. I'm Maybe you one, yeah. So but for that tactical black reason, UK I mean, based look, fighter. Look, look what they do to Sterling. They do it to Sterling all the time. He's very similar in terms of background, in terms of Jamaica, Britain, and they they're always bringing him down for the Jamaica side. And you know the fact he's got a gun tattoo on his leg, and his dad got his dad got gunned down it. And then he, you know, they do. I'm with APL, so it's like one of those ones where, unless you got PR to go and clean your clean your Google history, <laughs> <laughs> then does. Just claim, just exceed, claim as, what you want to claim without claiming the UK. Because yeah, as a black, as a black or coloured fighter from the UK, you need to be the villain. I, for me, I just think that's the only way it works. If you want to be the face, they'll they'll kill you at some point. I do, but for what he stands for, as literally being a black UK based fighter, fair play, fair yeah. play, Leon. Well done, black. He, he, he's, he's, it's his time to shine. At the end of the day, it's his moment. Hope he enjoys it. Definitely can't wait to see the rematch. Um, definitely want to see, if, you know, like I said, if, is it going to change him or is he going to stick to? And I, yeah, I heard that interview actually. It was on the preview where he was like, you know what? Oh, he's a super nice guy about is he talking about Leon, um, mm. how he likes them both, obviously. Um, and I've heard that from a few people. I even, um, is it Yai, um, his teammate who's from Wolverhampton, who who fought in the UFC? Uh, yeah, yeah, I heard that. Obviously, yeah. he's in the same team, in, same team as Leon. That's, they refer to Leon, Leon as El Capitan, as the, the team captain. And he was saying the same thing where, yeah, he's just like one of those people where he's just a nice guy. Everyone gets on with you and he's just trying to sharpen everyone's tools, not just his, his own. So everything I hear about him is actually genuinely quite positive. Um, but yeah. that, you know, I, I suppose me and APL obviously focused on the exploits in the ring. Um, and just for comparison, you know, Mirab and Aldo both got down and just were like doing that. They had a moment both on, on the mat, just showing respect. Um, even Paolo and Rocky, I mean, Paolo and um, Rockholder, as, <laughs> as, as, again, the respect was there, like at the end. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm bringing into. I get maybe because it's the championship, it's a different level of gas levels, but up to that point, I you know where there's no bad blood, I kind of expect that suit that respect at the end of the fight, and to to not acknowledge anybody at all, or even the camps to acknowledge each other. I just thought it was really weird and a bit cold, and it was like, okay, who's being genuine here? Because I thought this this had no bad blood, so I'm calling out both sides respectfully. Like, mm-hmm. what was that about at the end? It was weird. But- but so, actually, to be actually, fair dudes. I think he maybe he's maybe he's he's bought he's bought his bed and he's gonna lie in it because Leon in his thingy he said pound for pound what he was he was coming he maybe he's trying to bring the fire. Was... Yeah, I didn't like I didn't like that as well. I'm not gonna lie because you know what? Yeah, no, no, no. Do you know why? I want all the smoke. I want no, no, no. I want all the smoke. I want no, Osman no. to bring the smoke. Come on. <laughs> You can't if you, if you win immediately, it makes you the bigger man. If you say Usman's a pound for pound number one, you just beat him. So give him his props in the build up. You can say all that stuff of like bring bring pound for pound in the build up. We need that because we need to get excited a bit. But straight after the fight, it makes you the bigger. Floyd used to do it all the time. Floyd knew that guys were whack, and he'd always say that he's great and he he's a hell of a fighter. Hell of a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> It was always he's a hell of a fighter. Yeah. <laughs> and at, at the end, he showed great heart. He showed great heart. He's a hell yeah. of a fighter. To get in there with me, he's a hell of a fighter. I'm telling you, man. All the, the gunman talk, we need that in the build-up. We need it. But like afterwards, no. And the, the reason why he did it, and to be honest, he 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 has said before the fight, he has said he doesn't believe. That he said no, he he knows that Usman's pound for pound, but he doesn't see it. That's what he says. And yeah, the thing yeah. is, people are going on like Usman, like he is untouchable. Yeah. 
I thought he was untouchable as well un, un, until that point. And, un, and he said, Leon said in, on the mic, he said, everyone that could tell me I couldn't do it because all oh, the whole world, the whole world was saying Kamara was going to win because that's what, that's what we thought was going to happen. So yeah. that's, that's what was me, happening in 99. Yeah, that's what was happening. But that's yeah. what it only needs. One, you only need one shot. That's, right. that's, that's and, the beauty that's of this game. And you know game. who says that line, you only need one shot. Do you remember? <laughs> What's that? What's that Emin- boy group called? Eminem, Eight Mile. No. Oh no, gosh. it's um, is it is it like that boy band? Was it JSL or something? Yeah, let's get one shot. Leon, you know, you're on it. You're one shot. It's true. You better you know, you you but, but the next line, you might never get this moment again. <laughs> For real. It's true. It's hey, I'm never getting it again. It's true. He wouldn't have got that moment again. He wouldn't no have because way, I, no because way. as as APR saying he doesn't think he'll beat Colby comes out you know all this time it's a tough he did it he took he took it and for me he wants all the smoke now Leon's made his bed he might even be that villain as you said he might have actually made himself that villain that's pound for pound shot. what that's what he said he said you're not untouchable point. it's a good point he did it too and he yeah I mean he. he... <laughs> Maybe what exactly what he said. Maybe he went he went AJ Road man, but reversed it. Like this is the true me. What what gunfinger? Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Let him embrace <laughs> it. Let him. <laughs> if he wants to embrace that culture, let him embrace it. I like it. I like it because it puts more pressure on you and like it just makes more eyeballs. It brings more eyeballs. So fair or fair yeah, play. Let's see it. Let's see. Let's Maybe, see it. Maybe if he if, he, if that's his new character, I'm with APL. Keep that energy going into the build up. Need Get to. eyes on it. Go yeah, bring out be. your yard, man. 100%. That's, that's what we need. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm on, now, guns, I'm on board. Now, I'm, now I'm on board for marketability. Now I'm on board for all of that when you're face to face, not when the guy's in the back of an ambulance. I'm on. I'm on. <laughs> yeah. I want to see that. No, I'm serious. Yeah, but he put the guy in the back of an ambulance. This is what I'm saying. Dude, Let God. him live in it. Let I'm him live in it. Face. Do He's do got the camp. Well. He needs to see that swagger. Strap and Usman said. Usman said it. Usman said, hey, let me live. Because did you see the press conference yeah, beforehand? Yeah, yeah. He said, let me live. He goes, Hollywood. if you were me, you would do the same thing. If you had my body, you would, you do, would this. do it. You, you would wear this. You, yeah, let's see it then. Let's see and it. Leon goes, I'll let you live. Because <laughs> Leon knows if he had the same, he would do the same. Okay, I want to see it. Like, He's going to do start, it. Dr- start dressing, talking, feeling like a champion. Now. I need to see championship drip now. Yeah, yeah. I need to see it now, Leon. Not, none of this <laughs> track to like, play. Yeah, Jesus. man, because right up to this point... In the words of Jos, if it looks like a op, talks like a op. Like a op. No more ops. You're the guy. You're the main it's guy. It. We need to see the it and body it. Back. Bring it. Okay. Now we can agree on something. <laughs> don't be. Don't do that energy and then go back to being all introverted and all. Nah. nah. I want to see that. Yeah. And Leon, we're building it for you. We're building you up the you. persona. Okay. Come on. Look. Let's look. Go. Hey, hey Leon, go. King's Court. We can head up your PR. We can head up <laughs> your marketing. Fast, I've got fast, e-commerce fast. unlock. We got <laughs> APL. Your travel dreams. Your travel dreams. All in one hit. We right. got Mardi. You can sort out your new Mercedes with some with some with some cheap parts. <laughs> That's it, you <laughs> know. Spoke. We've got you. God, <laughs> man, WWE out here. We make characters, man. <laughs> That's it, and it will be the biggest challenge you know, after that. We've just come that, up with a you. whole strategy for for Leon. So Leon, respectfully, <laughs> if you can watch this and get to this point. Yeah, just man. reach out. <laughs> Listen, it's, the next the next press conference, I see Leon. I need to see drip. Did you get it? I need to see. <laughs> Sunglasses in the night time. And do you know what? Do you know what? I want to see drip, but I want to see like London. I want to see London drip. I want to see yeah, some, yeah, some yeah. like a drama hoodie. I want to see yeah. Cortez. I yeah. want to see. I want to see Daily Paper. I want to see Benji R. I want to see him go in with UK drip, like doing yeah. it different. So bring no the trap drip. star though. No trap star. I don't want to see no, no trap no, no, star. No, 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 no. That's Darren Till. I don't want to see no trap star, no, man. No, no. That, Darren Till's to trap star. We don't do them things right here. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> That one too has trap star and lock. We don't need to see that. We need to see bring bring it. None of yeah, bring it. Bring it. That's all I'm saying. That's it. Oh. Yo, we've got the marketing strategy for you. Just give us a, yeah, we'll reach out. We'll reach out. We've got a plan. <laughs> really, really quickly. I know it's probably been one of our longest podcasts, but really quickly, PF yeah. PFL results. So I just want to top out. So all three guys that we, we called out yesterday, they all won. It's really good. Simeon Power round two, TKO. Um, Dakota Chaver finished 42 seconds. She finished. Brendan Lenane 
five round decision, but he's now in the finals. But Kayla Harrison, so Kayla Harrison dusted this girl and she put a gauntlet down. She said she's the best women's, women's fighter MMA ever. ever. Yeah, women's MMA so. ever. She's yeah. not talking PFL. She's talking ever. MMA. Combat she called. Sports. She called those two Brazilians. She goes, if those two Brazilians want to get off, get their asses. I'm here. I'm only thinking one of them must be Nunes. One of them must be, <laughs> one of them must be Nunes. Who's she talking about? And why why, why, why Dana? Why doesn't Dana buy her out of a contract? They had the chance. Yeah, they had the I chance. Think, but PFL are paying good money. PFL, yeah, and she, that's what she, that's, she she came out and said that like they had the chance. And remember, I think what the find it they had the chance, and the window was that fight, the first fight, because she was at that fight. And she oh, hadn't yeah. signed yet. And remember, she, she, yeah, her she, reaction in the crowd was the worst. She was like, yeah, because she, yeah. she was going to sign. She getting that payday. She was going to sign. But that didn't happen. And she needed to make a decision basically then. So she had to go where the money is. Because UFC, because yeah. she knew there was going to be a rematch. She's not going to wait around. Yeah. Like, Pena messed things up. <laughs> it was Pena. Pena messed up the plan. Yeah, that's There true. was no other reason for her to be front row. They, the, the, the dream for the UFC was um, Linus does the job. Boom, there might have even been a WWE trailer where the camera comes to her and they're, you know, doing the signature. <laughs> Sign the contract! Yeah, Sign the ting! Sign the ting, <laughs> like, ringside. Serious. I think everything was set up that... I think everything... The stars mm. were aligned for that to happen. That's why she was there. Her reaction, remember, the cameras caught her. She was going nuts. She could not yeah. believe it. She knew the UFC bag had been dropped in that yeah. moment. She wasn't going to wait. She was there just to fight the champions. She's not there to build herself up. She's there to come in, take the belt, strap season. PFL, she's already the queen. The money yeah. was there. It was millions. So. And she'll get another milli once she finishes the final again. But yeah, it's got to happen. I'm sorry. But anyway, that's me done. No more from me. <laughs> no, we went, we went 360 there. It was, it was a little bit tensing sometimes. And, you know, but I think we got our we got our opinions out there, and I think as as a marketing strategy, I think the King's Court could definitely uh, <laughs> help. Leon showers, man. Leon showers. That's it. Oh, <laughs> uh, but yo, that was our our UFC two seven eight review. Energy was high. Shout out to the Kings. Thank you if you got this far. We might have to break this one down a little bit. <laughs> I think so. You know, a little chopped up and screwed. That's it. Chopped and screwed. But yo. Obasogi signing out. Peace. Yeah. Marty, out. Marty, APL. You've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence. We don't need to talk about it. We, 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 we. Left hook from Yaounde came and landed on him, you know, so.